Good morning. So I'm speaking with Dwayne Danielson, who is uh, one of the uh, overseas workers that we support. So uh, there obviously was a moment in time, uh, at least 21 years ago, where um, you decided to go all in on this idea that you would go somewhere people would prefer right. to go and and serve. So if you could go back in time to that moment, would you still say yes? Yeah, if I if I think back to how God was stirring me, you know, I think of the um, we just had last summer, you know, in in Chiang Rai, Thailand, they had the kids that were stuck in the cave, you know, and they the world was mesmerized by the fact that these kids are lost. And uh, it's, you know, and it, and there was different levels of engagement about it. You know, there was all of a sudden you saw a ticker come up on CNN or Fox and you're like, you know, a soccer team is stuck in a cave. And, and so you're hearing blips here. So there was kind of this passive engagement that the world had and said, hey, we're, yeah, we're praying for them. We hope things work out. But then there was those people that said, okay, now we're going to go try to rescue them. Yeah. We're going to yeah. go in there. And, and if you listen to the, the one worker that the, one of the, one of the divers, who's actually an AG TCK that grew up overseas, uh, he said, we fully expected casualties. We never expected for everybody to come out alive, you know, but they had this commitment that said, we're going in even with that kind of knowledge that it might not work. And there was that moment when God called me uh in you know summer of 1987 and said hey Dwayne I want you to do this for the rest of your life and that was that commitment to kind of go into the cave and say hey let's do this and I'll tell you there's there has been in the sense casualties because things don't always work out as you planned and hoped and and it's you know just like uh they, they lost the diver there's things that have been sadness along the way of what you expect when you say hey we're going to do this for God but there's something rewarding about coming out of the water and seeing the fact that, hey, we found the lost people. The thing that's challenging these last days too is that the world is so excited about social justice, social things. So let's get water to people. Let's get them free from trafficking. Let's All those things are great, but in the end, if they don't have Jesus, they don't have anything. So all that, you know, so all that we do, whether, and we do all those things that I listed, but it has to be coupled with the fact that the only rescue thing we can rescue someone with uh, spiritually that will matter is that they know the gospel and can understand that. Well, I wanna add my voice to, I'm sure, a lot of voices that just say thank you for serving. Uh, thank you for hearing the call, but then processing in a way where you actually took some steps. And I'm grateful for the journey that you're on. It's impacted our church family and uh, it's helped us to become more aware and engaged. And uh, so I'm just very grateful for you and the ministry that you are engaged in, the serving that you do. Uh, please give your regards to all your, our regards to all your family. And uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you. And let me just uh, thank your church. Uh, you partnered with us from like the very beginning and uh, we have appreciated that as you as you look to the future i you know god's going to use you through prayer god's going to use you through your giving but i i think there's people sitting in the pews that god's stirring their hearts to say hey i'm going to go into the cave i'm going to step out and i would just challenge those that have been sitting there and saying well when things get you know certain things get in place then i'll step out well I think you just have to realize the urgency of the hour. You know, if they hadn't gone into that cave when they did, it would have been too late. And I think there's people all throughout America that God has already been stirring. And there's all a list of reasons why they haven't stepped out yet, but maybe today is the day that they would step out uh, right there from the church and say, hey, it's time for me to go. Amen. Thank you so much, Dwayne. I really appreciate your time and uh, our prayers are covering you. God bless. Please give your best to everyone. All right. God bless. Take care.